What's up everyone, this is Cybernide, and today I'm going to open up 8 packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Saviors for you guys. So yeah, I thought I would pick up just a couple of random packs and uh, see what we get from them. I mean, maybe we'll get like, uh, you know, Engage or, or something really good from these. I mean, of course, you're getting the Sky Strikers, you can also get the new Vampire cards, as well as the Fur Hire archetype. So there's still a lot of great cards in this. I've only opened up one box so far. I plan to get another box later on, but since I don't have one, another one just yet, I thought I'd get a few packs and uh, just see what our odds are. You know, see if we can get some really cool cards from it. Anyway, let's go ahead and open these up, see what we get. Of course, too, everything is holographic in this day, if you don't already know that. It's kind of like Spirit Warriors or Secret Forces or even like Hidden Arsenal because you get Secret Rare and four Super Rares. So let's see what we have here. Hope I have some good luck. I mean, I still need some of the vampire cards as well. I think you guys have kind of talked me into building vampires, so we'll see. Hopefully I get the rest of the cards I need. Alright, so uh, starting off we have uh, Hercules Base, that's a Sky Striker card. Then uh, Vampire Retainer. After that, Dark Griffer, that's pretty good. Armageddon Knight, I don't think I got many of those for my box. And, oh cool, we got a Vampire uh, Domination. Well, there we go. I, I think I need another one of these. I think this is my third one now. So, that's really good to get. That's one of the better trap cards for them. So, like I said, I'm looking for vampire cards. So, there we go. Even though vampires, I think, might be the cheapest of the three. I'm not really sure, but kind of makes it fun, too. Easy to build. I really need their XC monster, which is on the front, obviously. It's like the guy on the front. He looks like the bad guy from, like, the second Pokemon movie or something like that. I think that's who he reminds me of. Oh, well, we start off with one of the Link Monsters. These are actually tough to get, by the way. Uh, Sky Striker A Shizuku. Yeah, I've only got, I think I only got one of those for my box, so that's good. Uh, let's see, uh, Vampire Grimson. Then Vampire Red Baron. Recon uh, Scout for Hire. And we have uh, a Vampire uh, Frolin. Is that how you say it? People were trying to tell me how to pronounce it correctly. I don't know. I thought it was Frolin. But, uh, yeah, people are telling me there's another way. I don't know. I I'm Cybernet, so of course I'm going to say it wrong, so I'm just going to say what I think. I think it's Frolin. So, that's what I'm going with. Yeah, I actually already got a playset of her, too, which I was surprised about. I figured she'd be a tougher vampire card to get. Really good, though, too. I always like the artwork as well. Kind of has that Victorian sort of uh, era look to her. Kind of neat. That's what it kind of reminds me of, you know? Right, third pack. What do we have here? Whoop, it's gonna focus. There we are. We have a Sky Striker Mecha Eagle Booster. I don't remember getting too many of those. Vampire Awakening. That's pretty good. And uh, another one, the Field Spell for Fur Hires. That shouldn't be something to get hyped up about, but I only got two of them for my box. So now I have a play set. So yeah, it is uh, Flying Fortress. Then, of course, uh, oh, we actually got another one of her, a Sky Striker Ace uh, Ray. Uh, I don't know how to say her name correctly, but that was another one I think I only got one of. And then, after that, we have uh, uh, Sachita Maverick for Hire. So, there we go. I don't think I got one of those either for my box. So, at, at least we're getting some different stuff. I mean, seriously, a lot of the Super Rares were actually tough for me to get, or at least in my box. I don't know if I had kind of a weird box, but Sky Striker, like, the Link Monster, their Fake Monster, and all that stuff was really tough for me to get. And even the Field Spell for Fur Hires as well. So, it's actually good that I'm getting those now. And, well, there we go. We actually got another one. Another one, Shizuku. Not bad. That's a good way to start off. Vampire Orchid. I think that's... I don't think I got one of those from my box at all, actually. Let's see. Vampiric Koala. Curry Bandit. And then we have uh, Sky Striker Maneuver Jamming Waves. There we go. That, I think, again, that's another card I didn't get. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I guess I really did get a weird box, because I don't remember that one either. But there we go. Another one for Sky Strikers. Can't go wrong with that. I feel like all the Sky Striker cards are going to be really tough to get soon. Because they really are going to be like the next meta deck. So here we go, you know? <laughs> oh, Mirror Force. Oh, that's cool. Horner of the Phantom Beast. Then we have another one of Ray. So I think I finally have a play set now of her. Quick Booster after that. And then we have uh, Training for Hire for all your training needs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I only got one of those out of my box too because I remember that name. Yeah, just, just the puns with that. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny, yet I still don't really like the name change. That's still one I have to get used to. All right, come on. We got to get the, the Vampire XC. That's the one I really want to get. Area Zero. Reinforcement of the Army. That's always good. Mystic Tomato. Vampire Familiar. And we have uh, Dino Hero Fur Hire. Well, there we go. I think that actually gives me a place in this one, too. 
That's awesome. Looks pretty cool. I might build for hires if I happen to get everything. And now that I have the field still, it makes me feel a little bit better. Also, sorry if I kind of seem a little lower energy or something. I'm really sick today. Like, I, I don't feel good at all. So I'm trying to, you know, I still want to open up some packs and make a video for you guys today too. So sorry if I kind of look, you know, lousy. Anyway, uh, Shadow Vampire. Then we got Donpa Marksman for Hire. Armageddon Knights. I think that, yeah, I think I might actually have a place out of those now. Uh, the Monarch Stormforth. And uh, we got a Shark Cannon this time. Oh, that's cool. I think that was out of the first pack I opened up out of my box. So that's a pretty cool looking card, too. I think I like the artwork of that one the best. Just looks really neat. And then, of course, we are down to our last pack. Okay, what can we end with? Can we end with a Vampire XC? That's the one I really want to get. I need at least one of them for the deck profile. And I, I don't think it's expensive at all, but I, I still want to get one. So let's see. Like, I don't think it's supposed to be that tough to get. I think it's like under $2 on like <laughs> all the different websites I've seen. So let's get one from a pack. Come on. Vampire Vamp. Vampire uh, Retainer. Vampire Grimson. Okay, we're getting a lot of vampires. Maybe that's leading up to it. Vampire Awakening. And we have uh, Vampire Domination. So close. So very close. I thought maybe we had it because all the different vampire cards. You know what, though? That is still a very good trap card. And now I know for sure I at least have a play set of the trap cards. So that helps me out. Still missing a few of the vampire cards. Again, they're nothing expensive. I'll probably just see if I can just buy them or, or something. Like I said, though, I know I'm going to get another box of this set just because I want to try to hunt down a few more cards from it. And you guys know I can't just get one box of a set. Come on. Whether that's smart or not, which it probably isn't, you guys know I can't do that. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. I still did very good on this. I mean, I got a lot of super rares that I was missing. As weird as that sounds, again, I had a hard time getting a lot of different ones. So that actually gave me a lot of different play sets of cards I needed and uh, some pretty good secret rares as well. So I might try to get a few more packs this weekend and uh, probably later on, um, next week because uh, Memorial Day and all that too, the holiday will kind of throw off the mail system and all that. I'll probably have another unboxing for you guys too because I'm going to order another box. So I hope you guys are having good luck with this set too. Also, let me know what you guys are building from this, whether it's Fur Hire, Sky Strikers, or Vampires. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. helps out a ton. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! opening videos and also ring that bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.